All right. What do we have here? Hopefully the lighting's okay. I believe it is. This is a space heater, a Ryo Moore. It's an Amazon special. Um, it's uh, 1500 watt max, although it does have two settings um, up here. So uh, one will actually use a 750, the other will use uh, 1500. Uh, you can turn the fan on and you can turn it off. And then this is for oscillation. Uh, I was going to clean it. You can see it's pretty dirty. I wanted to leave it like this as I reviewed uh, the product just to show you what it will look like um, after everyday use for a couple months. Um, I'll show the old one that I had, which was uh, similar in specs except it didn't have oscillation um, and it was a little bit bigger in dimensions and it went bad so I got this replacement the older one I'll, I'll share some info here or there uh, was more expensive um, I'm not sure why I'm not sure why this didn't pop up when I, when I got the original one although I did get the original one um, a couple of years ago or yeah a couple of years ago Maybe even longer. So, you know, two years for a space heater being used frequently, it's not not too bad. So, again, uh, 16 bucks shipped to your house. This is everyday use for a couple months. It is going to get dirty. One of the things I don't like about it is it's black. Black pick, picks up everything. Uh, I just cleaned. You can see all the dust. I put this in the uh, kitchen area in the RV. Uh, because that's kind of the central location and it makes uh, the most sense for dissipating the heat evenly uh, It's gonna get dirty. You're gonna have to clean it, but I do like the form factor. It is just um, Four flat sides and I guess one at the top and then one at the bottom makes it easy to put in Corners and out of the way the other one I had again. I'll show you a picture it was just it looked like a a space a sci fi device or something. I don't know. I'll share some footage of this uh, as I have it uh, oscillating as it rotates left and right. That's a little noisy, um, and there's an issue actually going on um, where it gets to the end of a rotation and kind of makes a creaking noise. It'd just be normal wear and tear. I don't use oscillation too frequently. Uh, it is nice to have sometimes. Not sure how long that's going to work if it's already making noises. So that's something um, to keep in mind. The other thing with it being black is it's hard to see at night. Um, if you get up to do something in the middle of the night and you have this on the floor somewhere, um, Eventually your foot is going to hit it. It's just gonna happen. It's black, low light. You're gonna forget it's there and ouch you. Um, the, the angle of the heat uh, is a little odd. It comes up this way. Um, I guess that's so you don't get direct contact on the ground underneath you and they don't want it straight because uh, people would put it places and it would blow directly on you. I guess it's better to go out and up away. So keep that in mind as well. I guess also a lot of people will be keeping it on a lower location, such as um, the floor. Because that's where the heaters go most of the time. Uh, it's great at uh, heating up what I have, which is a... Um, it's a uh, essentially a 29-foot Class C RV. Um, I will say that I keep it in the kitchen area, which is where I hang out and my computer's at, um, and then the bedroom in the very back, um, it's back there, 
If it's going to be cold and I'm not going to use the, the propane heater, I will move this because uh, it does stay uh, significantly uh, warmer near this. That being said, it's, it still does keep the entire RV above freezing if it's going to get down uh, that low. Haven't tried it in super, super cold environments. Um, I think the coldest I've gotten so far this year is about 19 degrees, something like that. And this was fine. It kept uh, the inside around uh, 50s, low 50s, which uh, for me is fine. And that was without the propane heat. Um, and it, so it's a workhorse. Um, you can't beat it for the price. It was um, the old one that I got. Uh, again, picture right here was $28. And again, same specs except different form factor. And the old one didn't oscillate. Um, it was $28. And this one uh, normally is... Um, Let's see here. This one normally is thirty nine ninety nine, but it's it's been on sale. Right now, sixteen dollars. I think that's the same price that I paid. Overall, I would prefer this form factor to the old one. I don't necessarily need the oscillation. It's nice to have. I'm not sure how long it's going to last since it's already making noises. Uh, and again, the price, the price, the price. If this thing breaks after six months, it was sixteen dollars. It saved well more than that uh much much more uh on propane costs because the propane furnace uh can burn through some dollars especially propane around here getting up to about uh four bucks 3.99 or something like that uh again it's again 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 it's the smaller unit it tucks away which is good because it's out of the way but bad at night when it's black and you can't see it um already talked about it getting dirty the humidity, I've got a short little clip I'll show you here with temperatures and humidity, uh, how long it it took. All right, humidity uh, was a little bit higher a minute ago. Uh, the heater is now on. Um, let's give it some time and uh, see what happens. Couple hours later and uh, 55. That's pretty good. Um, no smiley face. Oh yeah, we got the smiley face. So that did pretty good. And that's with the door open. It would have been um, even better if I hadn't closed or left that open just because the humidity is uh, super high outside. Uh, it's up to 85 in here and humidity is down to 45, which is muy bueno. So it's keeping me warm and uh, reduce the uh, humidity. It's almost to the point where it's a little too warm. So I guess that's one thing I could say. I wish I had um, one more option of heat. It only has fan low and high. All right. So that's... Um, that is the first heat level, so. Same noise level whether it's on fan or heat. And there's the creaky noise on the oscillation. Um, safety switch does work. Um, it's the little rinky dink safety switches that you see on all these. I actually took apart the old one and it's terrifying actually how they make these. It's just a little contact that gets sprung up when you put it down. <laughs> so that worried me. So I no longer leave these on at all, even if it's like five minutes if I'm not going to be in here. Um, the cable, again, standard length with other comparable units. Wish it was longer, but it's a safety thing. I get it. Companies don't want to be sued. If you're getting something this size, you probably, for an RV specifically, you probably already have uh, an idea of what these units are capable of and aren't looking for too much. 
Um, what else? I think that's pretty much it. Would I recommend this? Would I recommend this? Absolutely. For the price, can't beat it. It's kept me warm. The oscillating's cool, but you don't need it. Oh, one other thing. Speaking of the two heat settings, um, hey man, is it dirty. Speaking of the two heat settings, my, again, my old unit, again, maybe picture right here. Um, didn't have an issue with the two settings, exact same wattage. Right now I'm plugged up to uh, a 20 amp, yeah, 20 amp um, power outlet and it will run on full power, but a couple times it's tripped the breaker. I don't know why that is, because I've even run my AC um, a little bit, and it did not trip the breaker. And my old one didn't trip the breaker on uh, the full wattage. So I'm not sure what's going on with this guy. I give it one thumbs up.